Our analyst this morning is James. Yeah, Jim Silas in the building. Good morning, President ZB. I don't know why you keep trying to um, no. mute my mic. I don't know. <laughs> What's always your plan? <laughs> James, you know what, yeah? Today, mm. I actually said, because Oris is not here, mm. I realized you might miss him a little bit. No, 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 no. You don't miss Oris? Never. Oris, can you hear that? Uh, he's probably not even, that guy's still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he's still worried. Oris, is, he's one of the people enjoying in this country right now. Sleeping at 8.17. Isn't he lucky? <laughs> Isn't he lucky? All right, it's all about the entertainment. And a con convict music <laughs> i listened to that song a few days ago so yeah, yeah. so akon says that nigerians are the smartest people in the world he was on a podcast that podcast is called drinks champs and it's hosted by noriega or nor right no oh, no yeah, called something like okay. that. yeah so um he described nigerians as extremely talented and he said that there might be a few not so good ones but on the majority scene most nigerians are very intelligent, very creative, and that the country is churning out billionaires daily or weekly. Maybe <laughs> I mean, it's not even supposed to be news. I don't know why it's in the news because everybody knows that. But, um, like I said, there are a few people, but I think it's even way beyond. Because, what's the point of having a lot of brilliant or smart Nigerians when you know the smartness is not reflective on our? Is it the economy? Is it our technology? Is it we just don't have really much to show? You know, but people definitely are thriving or you know looking for ways to survive in this our this enabling quotes environment. But um, wow. I mean, but it's a good thing to you know. It, it feels cool sometimes when people say, "Oh, Nigeria, we have smart people," and blah blah blah. But you know, I just feel like sometimes the tongue in cheek kind of statement where they just look at us like yep, we are smart, but. I, I don't know. Akon was saying it from a very good place. Yeah, no, no. I, I don't think that he is. It's not. Uh, he's not. He wasn't lying when he said Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that is not. That's something we hear every other time. Right. Yeah, but it's sadder when you are here and you know people are saying this about your people about you, but you really, really, really don't have. You know, you can't really even say that for yourself with the way things are happening or the way you know the results that, or you know the res the news or the reality that you have to face. Even as a Nigerian, living here in Nigeria and even, um, you know, out there, when you go out there. So, that, that's why I said, just sometimes it feels like, like, you know, when some people someone say, you didn't whine me, you know, but mm -hmm. because there's really not much to show. So, even, maybe a lot of Nigerians are smart, yes. But um, I don't know about our, I can't say so, how so much about our been leadership. Applied? That's what I'm saying. That's right. leadership. Is, now, um, it's, is questionable. I think about two weeks ago, Izzy, um, the fighter israel adesanya yeah he was on a podcast i think it was the joe rogan podcast mm -hmm. and joe rogan said asked him about nigeria and brought up the scam idea and it was yeah. very embarrassing but israel is such a smart dude because he turned that question around and used his answer to highlight how amazing and intelligent nigerians are he even spoke about being an average student in nigeria and when he moved to new zealand he was the was smartest. Like a genius yeah that's the fact that's the truth so i mean the things that the way a lot of people were were raised you know here in, in nigeria um you're just meant to be smart you're just built to be you know the environment will teach you to you know buckle up regardless of what the situation is, is i mean a lot of times it's beyond one plus one is equal to you know mm. it's um a lot of, in, in a lot of, in, in various ways about our smartness as just bare humans you know outside education or your qualification you know we are just street smart people we're just smart people naturally but the question um, still goes back to when we are smart how are we applying it what are we using it to do you know both as a people and as a nation you know which is why you know it's easy to say oh they're smart people but only they could channel it to you know more positive things mm -hmm. you know but that's what i'm saying that if you know when they say oh no just smart people, just like uh Tell me something else that we don't know. <laughs> All right. Now, we're coming back to some beef that we thought was long settled, long forgotten, long dusted, buried. And, well, it doesn't seem like that has happened. Comedian AY has spoken about his lack of relationship. I was, I was going to say relationship, but there's no relationship, right? Between uh, himself and other comedians like Basket Mouth, 
and Julius Agu as well. So this is like a flashback to conversations we had a few months ago mm -hmm. when everyone was stating what it was that AY had or hadn't done. And AY is now saying, you know what, this is it, I'm good. So at this point, I think they should let even this um, the story or the situation rest. I, I don't even... They should stop asking a why about his relationship with basketball. They should let it, we are done with that whole conversation. The truth is that at the end of the day, you cannot force you cannot force a relationship between yourself and another person. I'm not saying he's trying to force a relationship, but he wants just all I feel like what AY wants is just a level of acknowledgement, you know, or a level of acceptance from um basketball. Which may never happen, you know. I feel like they've crossed that. There's a line that there was probably a line that they've crossed that they cannot go back to. Um, Basketball has said before, oh, he doesn't have beef with him. He doesn't, you know. We've seen the various interviews that they had, they've um, what's it called, you know, sort of mm. had with different on different platforms. And at this point, I feel like I acknowledge you. I feel like the um, Basketball may have acknowledged. I know this guy, but. There's nothing. We are not friends. We and I think it's accept, it should be accepted. It should. It's something that happens. We can be colleagues. We can be in the same industry, but our path doesn't need to always cross. Or I don't need to be your friend. Maybe there's a professional or there's business to be done. They probably will come together and make it happen. But maybe uh, the whole the usual maybe call on or check on this person as my friend or somebody who I care for may not just be there. So and I think they should stop asking AY questions about basketball and stop asking basketball questions about AY. These are two grown adults. If they need to speak to each other on a certain situation on any level, they probably will. But I don't I feel like the media should let them be. Stop talking about them. Let them be, you know. The same and um with AY and um Julius Agu, same thing. We the simple thing I I, I picked from the Julius Agu situation was that whole AY live um, having a yeah. white live on Easter, I don't think by this in 2023, um, Julius should be holding on to that situation. Like, if they see what's happened with you and you want to be going back to that same story, no, they should leave them alone. They're adults, they should stop coming to the news anyway and stop granting those <laughs> interviews, please. And uh, maybe if they ask them those questions, they can simply say no comments. Yeah, we like go back to previous interviews. I've answered this question in the previous interviews. Go and watch. And Does stop it really mean me. that there isn't much going on in you know within these guys' professional personal spaces that the the, the conversations always revolve around ancient history from twenty? They years don't ago. need. That's what I'm saying. That yeah. they don't have to have. We don't need to be friends. We have. Look, there are a lot of people that come to mind, even in this um, the media business, uh, and even with, you know as 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 a colleague. Um, Look at we come here on Thursdays every other time to host this show together mm. as you know as colleagues and friends. But the truth is that how many times do we really have to say, "Oh, Zibi, how are you? You don't chop today. How are you doing? How's your health? Do you understand?" <laughs> James, stop yeah. giving away the trade secrets. No, but okay. that's, that's what you should okay, All right, let's it. move on. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean that I don't care for you. You know, of I don't. Course. I care about you, but a lot of times, but you know, we just do that. Everybody we go about busy. our business and do yes. what we need to do. But if you're not there, you're, if, if you stay there and you really want. I don't know if it's validation or you just want someone to acknowledge it that. It comes if, I think it's validation. You don't need way. it. It's move, keep, keep it, it moving. Feels like I feel um, like AY needs some validation. That's what I'm saying. They should stop asking why. this question. Look at, he did one of his um, sets, um, AY Live, where he said, um, in case you see basketball or something, that like, who is your guy? They played one music and like, I care. That, do you understand? But mm. nobody cares. You people should move on. Focus on your business. <laughs> don't worry about basketball. Basketball too is already doing his own thing. Stop granting nice. interviews about your relationship or your mm -hmm. friendship. Tell the interviewer, at least if you're going to ask me about basketball, I'm not going to answer, so don't bother. That's what they should do. And let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Tayo says, Nigeria is always good to hear on podcasts. It's the practical aspect where we live in that we show our smartness. The economy will teach you. Uh, Tayo says, they yeah. should boil the beef, dial it down before it chokes. AY is just stretching himself over the issue. Yeah. Francis says, well, people from the abroad just see Nigerians as people with superhero powers to really thrive and overshadow their counterparts. But it's the Nigerian system that we experience here that makes us great in a better and developed mm. climate. Daisy says, please validate yourself and let us rest. Thank you. Message to AY. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Media personality Ibuka Obi Uchendu has clarified that he'd rather be rich with a successful career than famous. Mm. I mean, we've talked about it here before, and I um, shout out to Oris, who actually pointed the fact. You know James Mason's by the way, don't want to admit. <laughs> <laughs> Oris pointed the fact that um, Ibuka is one celebrity who you really wouldn't find much about his personality. If you Google, do whatever you want to do, you really won't find much, anything actually, about Ibuka's personal life out there. And I think that that's a level of, um, it's a skill. It's something that people need to study, in, you know, however you're going to study it, that you should keep your professional life separate or away from your personal life. You can hardly pin anything on Ibuka. You can hardly find him outside, you know, even partying or say he's in a club and you see him drinking or you, you want to, there's, you can hardly peg anything on Ibuka. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's a very, very smart thing to do. And shout out to him. I mean, however he's been able to, it takes somebody who's really, really disciplined and grounded to be like, Ibuka is a family man who's married and has, you know, a proper family. But you cannot really draw, it's, it's, it's a genius move. I mean, I, I, I admire him for that. Now, Adekula Gold and his wife, Simi, are set to release a single, which actually is their first single in seven years. Look, I love this. Like, you see when I see when you talk about Adekula and um, Simi, that's uh, my, uh, one of my own, um, you know, they are like a power couple to me. These are two very talented people. You know, I love the two of them. I love their relationship. Um, but before marriage and even after they, you know, came together. And it just shows you how how powerful they are you know i saw the clip where they were um probably recording um for the particular song that we're talking about here and um yeah i, I didn't even realize that it's been up to seven years since they did a song together and you want to assume that these guys they live together they can just hit the studio at any time they have to sit in the house and just go and record and just i, I can only imagine that they will have a lot of songs now simi has done like an ep or a project mm -hmm. or a body of work with um files for instance but we really don't have that um, Simi and Adekunle on a project. I don't know what um, project is coming. I don't know if it's just a single. I don't know if it's an EP, you know. But it would be nice to actually have both of them on, you know, to create like a body of work. I think it would be, I mean, it has to be fantastic. It has to, you know, it would make a lot of sense, you know. But I love the two of them. I love, you know, their relationship. I, it's, you know, you can only imagine. They, I, in fact, they come up with a reality show today or say do one of those things i think i'll i mean i'll, I'll stand i'll watch i'll love know. it couples on reality tv shows it always almost always ends in disaster oh well i mean i'm just saying that i'm just a fan of them <laughs> okay. and i think whatever they give me these days i'll take it all right uh still in uh, the nigerian entertainment industry nollywood actor kanayo okanayo aka nai sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> has cautioned filmmakers against misleading costumes in movies. Now he says that um, it's not exactly realistic to always make a rich man wear Agbada. And he says, even with the female characters, it's not realistic to have females sleeping with wigs and waking up in full makeup. He's not lying. Yeah, but um, I feel like this is um, like still news. And because he was also a part of that system, you know, if he had <laughs> at the time realized this and addressed it at the time, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. Oh, so wow. I just feel like it's um, I don't know what well, I, I should make out of this information right now. Has been there for maybe twenty, probably over. Probably, That's okay. what I'm saying. That as, at the we time, can't compare what was happening there right now. People have more information. People are more mm. um, aware. That's what I'm saying. That right now, coming now to realize that ah. They should not be. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's I get it. Mm. But you know, you were part of the system before, and right now it's not. It's not too late. I'm saying it's okay. Fine. Maybe the next come up with something, produce a movie, and do show us how to do it best. And then you know. But I agree. Why are you shady, James? I'm not being shady. I just feel like um, this information is just sort of still to me. As far oh, I'm wow. yeah. Is this an old versus new Nollywood thing? I don't know. I'm not going to say that. But okay. um, we understand what. He's saying, but I'm just saying that he's still a part of this. I mean, except he's speaking from as an outsider. That's something that a lot of us already see. We've seen if we want to start, you know, puncturing or start checking the situation or the things that we see in Hollywood movies, we'll give him a, a full list of those things. But I'm just saying that this one that is still a part of should have been 
something that he would have. I mean, twenty years. I don't know the last movie I saw him in, but um, you don't even need to come out, come out to show me that come out and telling us. We don't even need so that tell information. Your peers. Yeah, tell your people. Okay. You, you people should address it yourself. All right. Still on on Nollywood, uh, there's been a battle between some of the Nollywood actresses. It's a very messy and um, kind of embarrassing battle, really. And three Nollywood actresses are involved in this thing. I know there's an Angela. Actually, in some ways, just one Nollywood actress attacking two other Nollywood actresses mm. who are or were her friends. And they haven't actually responded. And uh, the actress in question is Angela Okori, beautiful mm. girl. Uh, but she's um, not happy with her former friends. So this makes me question again. When you guys are friends and everything is good, there is you know life is beautiful so when you guys have a falling out do the rest of the world really need really, to know yeah. i mean social media has come not, not really a safe safe space but it looks like a nice platform as it is to vent and you come out and you know drag everybody and call out whoever you need to call out it feels like it's um it gives you because you know when if you're in your house and that person that you need to address is not right there. You know how people quarrel in public and go at each other in public. Mm. Yeah. So, but when you're in your house and you don't, you cannot face that person. Or you cannot see that person at that point in time. Social media feels like the same space where you can call out the persons for everybody to see. You know, um, and the what's called subject matter in that situation is just sort of really, really messy, it's dirty. I don't know why why she's doing this or why she had to do this. But I mean, if you're seeking attention sometimes social media can help you if the person is not <laughs> responding their fans will go there and, and mention the them person, and say see 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 and all of that you They're know talking about but you. it's so dirty it's so messy and some, sometimes um, i just don't want to think that is a representation of what happens in that industry but this is really really bad to see i mean in line of the same kind of an um, accusation of you know the story I, there was one girl one random girl i saw on social media as well yesterday who was calling out um and yola badness mm. as well and accusing her of of um pimping oh wow yeah pimping um girls um it, according to her girls who's done some kind of um cosmetic surgery okay. so to speak and then that she pimps them to um big politicians or big wow. people and uh, her now that's one of the reasons why she moved to abuja and blah 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 and you know it's just sort of it's you know, it's a messy kind of. I just um, wonder why are all the messy situations always linked to one certain area, sexual favors? Yes, it's just it's gross. Yes, so it's it's crazy and it's it's really not nice, especially in an industry where you know women are already relegated or women are really already at disadvantage. And then when you now have start hearing stories like this, you now be wondering, okay, so we you people said we should give them or we should give them more or you know support them and blah blah. But when you give them an opportunity this is what we come to see and i don't think that's a good way to you know to look at it but we still have good people who have actually come to show and prove that um, um there are good people in this same business or right. you know that are doing it the right way but you can never actually ignore the fact that um some people just like to take it the other way um or the negative or portray or sort of exhibit who they are regardless of what the opportunity is but um last last i still say that it's a question of choice you know if mm. you come out if you have an opportunity or if you are in an industry where you are supposed to portray or showcase talent basically um don't convert or don't take advantage of any other situation that might arise in that same industry i mean it's difficult to work for me i just feel like i'm going around circles about bottom line is that keep your dirty linen to yourself and free and not staying the people that are doing the job professionally okay uh finally let's talk about um Gigi Hadid now the model was arrested in the Cayman Islands now apparently she was traveling from the U.S. to the islands with drug paraphernalia and she was arrested after they searched her luggage at the airport now she's out of custody the beauty of being rich famous and having extremely even richer parents mm. but um it makes you wonder about the stereotype that people have where they associate models and fast living like drugs and things like that it's not just models also about celebrities actually mm. i was listening to one of them um kevin hart's interview not no it wasn't interview. it was like he was on the stage it was a performance where we were talking about how when he's traveling 
some of his friends that travel with him or he travels with some of his friends and they will always have drugs and have these things and that's he that they were going to i don't know which country he said and that country they, they it might be they might take you to jail or maybe shoot you or well there's something about oh, wow. or you know yeah. i don't know which of, i can't remember but maybe the middle east or i don't know I, East some, so something like that right. so but it was a no success no nonsense situation where if he catch you with or find drugs on you you know and he was talking about the fact that that's something that they always do that you know they because they all they and they say kevin you hold the bag because you have your popular face hold the bag you know and, and stuff but yeah i think it comes with the territory it's um something that we find or we hear every other time you know with a lot of celebrities but like you said fame money and they will have one a fantastic lawyer who always be on ground to probably help the situation and if sometimes even the country you somebody there will be a big fan of you as well who will make it a bit um you know subtle for you to pass through last last you pay the fine and keep it moving so but um i mean it comes to the territory i believe all right uh special thanks to our analyst this morning james silas yeah thank you for listening thank the you james for having and me show on youtube, YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about today's show. Um, share with your friends. Let everybody know that the James and Ori show is live here on YouTube. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.